Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope everyone has been enjoying their teleclasses so far. I am Hamda teacher from Iskandar school. Today I have a fun English class on connectives and conjunctions for you all. So grab your notebooks and let's get ready. Before I start, I want to point out the indicator and success criteria for today's lesson. The indicator is being able to use a variety of simple ordering or connecting words to link ideas in their speech. Example, but, because, first, finally, etc. And the success criteria for today's lesson is being able to use connectors to complete each sentence. Let us start with a simple question. Do you play puzzles? In a puzzle game, you use pieces to connect one another to create a picture. Well, much like a puzzle game, connectives are used to Join two or more words, sentences, and phrases together. Usually, conjunctions are used to join two nouns together, such as apples and oranges, while connectives are used to join a group of words together like sentences or phrases. Have you noticed how many conjunctions and connectives I have used so far? Let's see if you can spot some more conjunctions. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. Conjunction, junction, how's that function? I got three favorite cards that get most of my job done. Conjunction, junction, what's their function? I got and, button, or, they'll get you pretty far. And, that's an additive, like this and that. But, that's sort of the opposite, not this, but that. And then there's or, O-R. When you have a choice like this or that, and but no, get you pretty far. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up two boxcars, making them run right. Milk and honey, bread and butter, peas and rice. Hey, that's nice. Dirty butt, happy digging and scratching, losing your shoe and a button or two. He's poor but honest, sad but true. Boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up two cards to one when you say something like this. Choice, either now or later, or no choice. Neither now nor ever. Hey, that's clever. Eat this or that, grow thin or fat. Never mind, I wouldn't do that. I'm fat enough now. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up phrases and clauses that balance like out of the frying pan and into the fire he cut loose the sandbags but the balloon wouldn't go any higher let's go up to the mountains or down to the seas you should always say thank you or at least say please conjunction junction what's your function hooking up words and phrases and clauses in complex sentences like in the mornings when I'm usually wide awake, I love to take a walk through the gardens and down by the lake where I often see a duck and a drake. And I wonder as I walk by just what they'd say if they could speak. Although I know that's an absurd thought. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up cars and making them function. Conjunction, junction, how's that function? I like tying up words and phrases and clauses. Conjunction, junction, watch that function. I'm gonna get you there if you're very careful. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? I'm going to get you there if you're very careful. Conjunction, 
Junction, Junction, what's your function? I'm going to get you there. Now that you have an idea of what are some connectors, let's see how you can use them. The first way is to join two or more sentences. For example, Kafa is using yellow and orange to paint the sunset. Because Kafa is using two colors, I used AND to join two sentences. The next way is to show a sequence of events. For example, after school, Nuha and Mizian went to play. Later, Nuh joined them. Finally, they went home when the sun set. I was able to describe how Nuha, Mizian and Noh spent their evening by using multiple connectors. The third way you can use connectors is to join different ideas. For example, Aman likes to read books but Zainab likes to make sculptures. Here I used but to join two sentences because the two children like to do two different things. Another way is to show a cause of effect. Example, Luna was bored so she visited her friend. By using so, I was able to tell why Luna decided to visit her friend. The last way is to give a lesson. For example, Zaid studies in the library because it is quiet. Here I used because to explain Zaid's choice. There are more connectors that you can use. For example, or, before, yet, when, both, then, if, no, then. Now let's try using what we have studied so far. See if you can combine the sentences using the given connectors. Are you ready? To help you out, I have given some words below. No, yet, or, because, and so. Here's the first question. Do you want pizza? Do you want a hamburger? So what's the connector that you can use here? Here you can use or to join the sentences because you are given two choices. Do you want pizza or do you want a hamburger? It was cold outside. She put on a sweater. Here you can use so. It was cold outside so she put on a sweater. Here's the next question. My cat is hungry. It did not eat breakfast. Here you can use because to give a reason why the cat is hungry. My cat is hungry because it did not eat breakfast. Jane left to school early. She was late. You can use yet here. Jane left to school early, yet she was late. My brother doesn't like apples. He doesn't like peaches.
And lastly, you can use no here. My brother doesn't like apples, nor does he like peaches. Now let's try it on your own. Try fill in the blanks using connectors. I will go out dash the rain stops. I will go out when the rain stops. Dash, he never played before he won the game. Tho, he never played before he won the game. Good job guys. Just a few more questions. I will swim dash I get tired. Any guesses? Until is the correct answer. I will swim until I get tired. Now let's try something harder. Dash breakfast my dad dash I go for a walk. After breakfast, my dad dash I go for a walk. After breakfast, my dad and I go for a walk. Well done. I have one last question left. This is a short dash interesting story. This is a short but interesting story. Speaking of stories, I want to introduce you all to someone. This is Amra and she loves to write stories but she is having trouble finishing her book. Let us help her by using connectors. Choose the correct connector. Lisa and Susan were debating if they should bake a chocolate cake or a strawberry cake. Neither Lisa nor Susan wanted to bake cookies. But Chad wanted cookies. Before Lisa and Susan could object, Chad baked both cookies and cakes. Lisa And Susan were surprised, yet happy, because they got to eat cakes. I hope you all enjoyed that story. Before I go, let's quickly recall everything we learned today. And after that, suddenly, ah, I'm so scared, finally is at the end. First is first, then it's then, next is next.
next and after that suddenly ah, I'm so scared finally is at the end finally is at the That is such a catchy song. I think it's stuck in my head now. Hmm. Hope you learned something new today. Let's open our Exploring English book and turn to page 59. Here are some more exercises you can do to practice using connectors. Don't forget to stay indoors and wash hands to protect yourself and your loved ones. Stay safe everyone. Bye. Corona virus is a